Are you struggling to generate traffic right now? Because traffic is the lifeblood of how you grow your business online. It's the first foundational piece that you need to have. The problem is you're focusing on Google organic SEO, which takes months to years to build. You gotta produce content. It takes so much time and resources to do. I understand. I fell prey to this and also our clients as well. They think that that's the only way to grow your traffic. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you our traffic accelerator process that's gonna be able to help you grow your traffic even if you're just starting out or you're, if you're a successful multi-million dollar company right now online, how to amplify that process and generate hundreds of thousands to millions of your target audience without spending a fortune doing it. And at the same time, building up and condensing the time to be able to rank on search engines to build that organic traffic as well. YouTube community, what I want you to do is I want you to first like this video and I also at the same time want you to comment below and let me know what are your challenges with driving traffic how do you drive traffic right now? Or any insights or questions that you have on how to grow your traffic online? I want you to comment below and let me know. And at the same time, at the end of this video, if you stay until the end, you're gonna get an actual step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to implement this into your business. But that's only at the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video all the way through and then you go to the full walkthrough post. So thanks for watching this, let's get into it. Now, just like the video that you're about to see, it's all from real world experience. So the strategy on how to be able to drive more traffic through the traffic accelerator process is what we've implemented for clients. So we're able to generate hundreds of thousands to millions of new visitors within their target audience to pay attention to their business, to keep continuously revisit their business and buy their products or their services. And the target audience wants to buy. So the business doesn't even have to sell. That's the benefit or side benefit of this process. So that's one of the things that you should know is that this stuff is things that work right now. It's gonna to work today and also in the future as well. First part of this process you wanna do is you wanna take your phone out, which I have my phone right here. You wanna take your phone, you start recording yourself or having a professional videographer if you have the resources to bring that on and start from the video at the top. When you have the video at the top, then you wanna turn that into a long form post. Then you turn that long form post into multiple different short posts on the platforms that your target audience are on. That's the most important thing. Where are your target audience attention on and how are they interacting with that? platform. You figure that out and then you create with a video and you repurpose it into text or into images and you keep posting it that adds value to your target audience. So for example, internally what we do, I figured out on YouTube, the most three popular videos are the eight figure webinar that I have on how I go through that whole process. Then we go into how to generate thousands of quality leads in your business. And the third video is the one how to use Facebook ads to be able to drive high quality traffic. Those are the three most popular videos. Those are 20, 30 minute videos. We turn those into a short form post on LinkedIn because I'm in a B2B space. I turn that into a long form post on the website. We turn that into a short image creative or ad on Facebook and then we do it and distribute it throughout those different channels. And we're able to build that specific content process and be able to drive traffic through that whole thing. So we drive the traffic from the Facebook and we move them towards the post on the website and also the video on my website. So you're gonna see basically the image of what that looks like right now but essentially that's the way you wanna do it. Now, secret tip, the video content that you wanna create, you wanna be able to focus on what are the problems that your target audience wants to solve and what are the results that they wanna have. The best way to do this, go on Amazon, look at your competitors, look at your uh, specific the reviews on Amazon, go on Quora, go on YouTube, search the most popular topics that your target audience already pay attention to and already share. You can even use BuzzSumo to be able to discover this type of content. That's gonna give you a great starting point to be able to focus on what are the topics, what are the videos that you wanna create. Look at this video. I'm creating this video because of people when they're watching, they don't know how to drive traffic. Traffic is one of the biggest challenges of how to grow a business online and I'm creating a video solving that problem for you. You do the exact same thing before your target audience. Now what's great about these platforms is that you can go on Facebook Insights tool to be able to build your audience there for free. You don't have to spend money there. They give you all that data, basically, at the access online. You go to Facebook Insights tool, you're able to actually look at the left side, there'll be categories. You can build it based off interest, the age. You can build off your specific demographic, what type of uh, things they're interested in, what things do they follow, pages, books, movies that they watch, what interests are they in the fitness or whatever it is that you are in the space and they'll show you the demographic. So what pages they follow the most on Facebook, what is the split between the age, the, the male, the female range, what page they're interested in, all these different things you can get access to using the Facebook Insights tool. And the same thing we wanna do on Google. If you go on Google, there's two ways. There's a search tool and there's a display tool. You go on Google, you're able to actually search and build an actual plan. Google's made it so easy for you on all these platforms, why? 
because they obviously put millions of dollars to build these platforms so that that's one of the main sources of the revenue. So they have to make it very easy and convenient for you to build an audience on there, which is a great advantage for us to be able to focus on this content traffic accelerator process. So you go on the Facebook, you go on the Google side. If you're in B2B, go on LinkedIn. You're able to see you can build based on the company size, you can build it based on the position of the person that you're reaching for, you can build it based on the actual pages, you can build on the other uh, categories and industries that people are in. You can even target people that are within a specific company, the specific team members or the employees that work for that business. The targeting is crazy on all these different platforms, Google, YouTube, also YouTube is tied to Google as well and LinkedIn is the same. And even if you don't execute on it, it'll give you very valuable insights and data that you can use. So that's the next step. Go on those tools, build your audience on there, and then go from there. Now once we have this video, we have the content prepared, we've built the audience on these platforms that's so basically made available to you. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna take out and be able to spend about 30 to $50 on a specific campaign that drives your traffic to that specific post on your website. And also they can watch the video, they can engage with the post, similar to how I'm doing it exactly this way. We're able to generate traffic, hundreds of thousands of visitors to a specific post using this exact process. So you take the top three posts that you have, you look at the top three audiences that you built, you put that into Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube or Google, it doesn't matter, and then we drive traffic to that specific post. And then we wanna measure a few things. We wanna look at the click-through rate and the cost per click. So what that means is click-through rate is, and when 100 people view your actual post on Facebook or LinkedIn or Google, how many people actually click through and actually view the post? That's click-through rate. So for example, if you're getting 10 people to click through out of every 100 people, that's a 10% click through rate. If for example, you wanna focus on the cost per click, that means out of all the clicks that you're getting, how much is it costing you per a click? So those two are the most important metrics that you wanna use for traffic. The second layer to this is when they land on your website, what we wanna look at is three very important metrics. Time on site, bounce rate, and the pages visited. So that means time on site, someone when they land from your traffic source to your actual post, how long do they stay on the website and engage with the post? The bounce rate is how soon, as soon as someone lands on the page, do they disconnect with you and bounce off? The third thing is how many pages do they visit when they land on this specific post? How valuable is your website? What we wanna do is we wanna make sure people, when you drive traffic from your audience, the right, how do you know this works and is successful for you, is that people, when they go onto the post that you have and you've driven the right audience there, they go on the page, you have a low click, you have a high click through rate, you have a low cost per click, and you also at the same time have a bunch of people on the website that stay a long time, they visit, interact with multiple different pages on your website, and they don't bounce off the page. That is the success of this campaign. That's what you want to find. Now once we find the top three ones, then we want to rinse and repeat this process. That's really how simple it is. Getting traffic to your website is not a complicated process. The side benefit of this too is what I talked about at the beginning of the video. When Google sees and any search engine that you wanna rank for, that you have traffic coming from an authority website, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, to your website, and they're staying on their website, and they're engaging with it, you're naturally gonna build that organic ranking on your website. Because what Google and any search engine cares about is that when someone searches the page, they find your page, or they come from another source to visit your page, that people are going on the page, they're getting value from it. If every single person that searched on Google or on Bing, whatever search engine, they find that page and they bounce immediately off, that search engine would be dead. So that's why it's so valuable because when you do this process, Google will naturally see, hey, when you're driving traffic from YouTube all the way to your website, they're seeing a video, they're seeing your post, and then they're engaging with it and they're seeing a long time, this website is valuable, it's something here. So we're gonna rank you and your website and the page specifically to a certain keyword or search term above that specific place. So that's why it has a side benefit as well. And this is something that you can start off even if you just started your business yesterday. Final secret tip that you wanna have is make sure that the target audience that you have on this platform is you take their pixel, Facebook pixel, the remarketing code. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna look at LinkedIn. LinkedIn has an insight tag, it's what it's called. Facebook has called the Facebook pixel and Google has the same thing. It's got some kind of code that you can install on the website. The reason why you wanna do this is for the next step in the process. When we are able to get people to land on these pages, engage with videos in the post, we're able to build a remarketing audience. Now what a remarketing audience means is that we're gonna be able to build a deeper level campaign for people that have engaged with your business and your brand. Now we can actually show them relevant offers or products or services or landing pages or anything to convert them into the next step. We wanna get them to make micro commitments along the way. And the way we do that is gonna be moving them through this process and being able to build the remarketing audience on these platforms. So that's one of the things that I want you to do in the next step.
So YouTube, that's the full video there. This is the new format that I talked about, keeping a short tactical for you. I want you to first like this video below, like it. I want you to comment below as well. Let me know what insights you got from this video. If you like the new format, what is the insights that you got? What's the value from it? And the most important thing that I want you to do is subscribe to this channel. I want you to hit that subscribe button there. I want you to hit the bell icon and make sure that you receive future videos that are coming out. It's important for us to start this communication relationship through YouTube. So make sure you do those things.